The outdoor lifestyle of forestry labour was healthy work and included in the early days the clearing of the ground for planting. Big trees had to be felled using axes or cross-cut saws. There were at this time some very large oak trees, some as old as 500 years. Much of the work was still being done by horses, dragging out several large poles which would be used for building timber. Like the farms, forestry work in the 1950s had replaced the horse with tractors, as shown in this old cine film taken in 1958. The man operating the tractor is Alfie Smith, who was also foreman. The men nearest the camera, lifting and stacking the young plants, are Andy McShane and Willie Thompson. Grading the plants was an important job, disregarding any ones of poor quality. Money invested in a forest of trees would be a long time producing a dividend, for it could be up to 40 years before they are mature enough to be cut and the timber sold. We paid a visit to the forest at Gortnamoya during March to film the harvesting process. We expected to see men working with chainsaws, but local forester Colin Archibald assured us that things have moved on since those days. That was the case 15, 20 years ago, but um, since that time, the whole job of felling timber has become mechanised. This here is one of the harvesters uh, which resides here in the North District. It's a, basically a 20 ton excavator with, uh, with a harvesting head instead of a digging implement on the front here, a harvesting head. And this head here um, does everything that the man with the chainsaw would have done. Uh, the diesel really does the work. We also need a highly skilled operator operating the harvester, which you'll see shortly. Uh, this head here uh, grabs the tree, saws the tree off, uh, lets the tree fall to the ground and then cleans the tree up the full length of the tree and cross cuts the tree to whatever length of timber that the sawmill requires. The production of this machine is probably equivalent to about 10 chainsaw men. Um, 100 tonnes and a day would be some something in around uh, a reasonable amount. Depends on the timber and how far away, uh, how awkward the site is. The operator working this machine is Nigel Miller. The horse, once used for sliping out the felled trees, has long since been replaced by powerful machines. This one is a forwarder, made in Sweden, and driven by Davy Wilson, and capable of bringing out 10 tonnes of timber on every trip. The cut logs, some weighing half a tonne, are piled in clumps, ready for the next stage in the operation. Taking the cut timber out of the forest, like most jobs nowadays, is again a one-man mechanised operation. This load is destined for Diamond Sawmill and Corain, who would take about six loads like this every day. Each truck can carry about 16 tonnes of timber. The lorry arrives at the sawmill and first has to be weighed. Diamonds have been operating here for over 60 years and specialise in garden and farm produce. The lorry driver is responsible for unloading his logs onto this conveyor, which brings them forward to be cut into similar sized lengths. This whole operation is controlled by computer. The logs of timber now go through the big saw which cuts them into squares. The thickness of the log will determine the size of the finished square. These men are making posts for hanging gates. Others are making fencing for gardens. Diamonds employ over 60 workers. Back at Garva, the never-ending cycle of growing trees begins again. The planting of new trees is along the same lines as the ones which have just been cut and this operation has changed little in the past 50 years. Planting still has to be done by hand. The two men will plant about 300 trees every hour. These lines of small trees will be checked in one year's time to make sure that everyone is growing. These ones have been growing for two years. 
An interesting feature in the forest is that every so often a tree is left standing. This is for bird perches and for the various insects which live in trees. If you enjoyed this video, you'll like our video on modern day turf cutting. Just click on the link in the screen. And please remember to subscribe to our channel to see more videos of Irish farming life.